freaking are you kidding me there's a hurricane about to hit this area ma'am you need to go home you need to get out of here the highways the bridges are all closed you need to get home you need to get to a shelter and hunker down oh no 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 guys guys he's gonna get stuck he's gonna get stuck that's some deep water oh this water is deep oh he's stuck he's on foot he's on foot There's a freaking hurricane going on and we're chasing this guy out. Hey, what's up guys? Your boy is Pilot 2K7. We are back for brand new Grand Theft Auto 5 LSPDFR Police Mod episode. Now today, we're going to be playing as the North Carolina Highway Patrol. And we are actually going to be talking a little bit more about Hurricane Dorian as it makes its way towards the Carolinas. So, it is currently September 5th around uh, 4 p.m. at the time that we're recording this. But we're going to say that it is September 5th and it is nighttime right now. So, we actually have a large scale power outage right now guys if you guys go ahead and look outside you see there's like barely any lights really the only lights you guys can see right now are the traffic lights and uh, luckily our station we have a backup generator so we have lights here in the station but outside it is basically pitch black with the exception of some of the lightning that's uh, occurring from hurricane dorian so first thing first i want to say this hurricane has been extremely crazy it has even been deadly so first thing i want to say is just make sure you guys if you are in the path of this storm in real life Life. make sure you're listening to your local authorities and whatever they say I recommend that you guys do make sure you guys are doing that and staying prepared because hurricanes are very serious topics and they can be extremely dangerous and deadly as we sadly have seen so far also I do want to say if anybody you know if you guys are in the help in if you're able to you know definitely consider seeing if you can help out like say the Bahamas they have been really devastated by uh, Hurricane Dorian it pretty much came through and leveled two of the uh, northern islands so definitely if you are able to and if not you know just keeping them in your thoughts and prayers is helpful as well so today uh yeah it's gonna be kind of crazy guys we're actually gonna go out on patrol out in there it's gonna be crazy so we have some officers outside right now i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an update on what's going on so we have some officers outside already um basically it's a blackout it's nighttime we also have a curfew in place as well so nobody should be on the streets obviously it's not safe to be on the street during a blackout during a hurricane it's even worse plus there was also tornadoes earlier today as well in north carolina so i just want to everybody out there just make sure you guys stay safe because this weather has been crazy um but yeah, that hurricane, I mean, the tornado is just crazy. I believe it was in, like, Wilmington, um, North Carolina. But anyway, we're going to go out and just kind of make sure that everybody is safe. We're going to do a quick patrol. We're going to check on some of our officers that are already out there. And obviously, as the storm moves a little bit closer, we're probably going to have to bring our units back in and come in here and pretty much hunker down and ride the storm out. So first thing first, uh, let's see. I kind of like this jacket. Uh, this trooper over here is wearing but I think I'm gonna go with the reflective jacket let me know what you guys think so I could wear this jacket this looks really nice I like this though got the North Carolina patch on the side state highway patrol in the back we could also go with the raincoat I was thinking about going with the raincoat because then we have that high visibility people could see us especially since it's so dark outside so I think I'm gonna go with the raincoat and I was actually looking it up in real life. They do say SHP in real life. I was wondering why they put that, I guess, just for uh, State Highway Patrol. All right, you guys ready? Let's head out there into the unknown. Wow. Okay, let's uh, get towards our car. Yo, it is so dark. Have you guys ever seen the game this dark before? Oh man, this is crazy. This is crazy, guys. All right, let's turn, let's turn our lights on. Now, we could ride around with our cruise lights on, or we could just turn on our 
Uh, emergency lights like so. What is this guy? Oh, there's people walking around over here. I don't know why they're walking around, but we're going to head out. This is an officer here, but I, he really shouldn't be out like this. All units monitoring. We just received a complaint about a speeding vehicle. From what we can make out, the description matches a possible wanted suspect. Just clear another call. Speeding I'm vehicle? Alright, I'm gonna have to turn off uh, pedestrians for this. <laughs> because there's just way too many people out right now, and I cannot stop every single person. But, dang guys, look at this city. This is crazy. So luckily our traffic lights appear to be on a backup generator. And it looks like the bank also has a backup generator as well. But yeah, all of these buildings and most of the street lights are all out right now. So I'm going to put on my takedown lights so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. And I'm also going to use my spotlight to kind of just look around, I guess. But yeah, this is crazy, man. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to head towards the uh, coastal area that is evacuated. We're just going to make sure that everybody has evacuated, everybody got out okay, see if anybody needs help. It's kind of too late to evacuate. Apparently the bus is still running. It shouldn't be running, but just don't mind that. But yeah, um, it's kind of too late to evacuate, so pretty much everybody just has to hunker in place. But we just want to make sure like no type of looting is going on, nobody's getting hurt. So even though it's dangerous, we still have officers out on patrol, and they're actually doing that in real life as well. They have uh, officers out on patrol until the storm gets too bad, obviously. All right. Make our way in. That's right. There's another police car ahead of us. I could barely make them out. So like I said, we're just going to check on everybody, make sure that they're okay. You okay, buddy? Alright, we're going to be out here for a couple more hours, and then we're going to head to the uh, back to the Center Street Station. Alright, cool. Alright, so let's head back out on patrol. Looks like we have some heavy flooding over here. Now, another important thing, guys, make sure... Oh, there's a car over there. Make sure you guys do not drive through water, even if it looks like it's not deep. It only takes a couple of inches to wash away the car, so it's really not worth it most of the time. I know I'm doing it in the game here, but in real life, you definitely do not want to do this here. Alright, let's pop up through the station. So this is the Vespucci police station here. As you can see, this station actually lost most of their power as well. They have a couple lights on outside, but it looks like their main power is out. Oh, Burger Shot is open. Burger Shot's open during the storm. Look at that. Or at least their sign is on. Their sign is on. They're closed. There, there's another one. There, look at all that flooding down there. Alright, so what we're going to do now, guys, is just try to look for... Not really look. Just We're just going to patrol, really. We're just going to go out on patrol and see exactly what we find. I did see some vehicles driving around. Oh, that was, oh, oh, I'm getting washed away. That was deeper than I thought it was gonna be. So I did see some vehicles um, driving around. I'll probably try to do some traffic stops on some of them. And then we'll also probably respond to some calls as well. Wait, this is a traffic stop going on right here? Two vehicles, what the heck? Yeah, I guess everything's okay. He let them go. 
It's just so crazy seeing the uh, town so dark, though. It's like I could barely see like a couple of feet in front of me. Even with my takedown lights. Oh, my takedown is actually off. Alright, now they're on. See a little bit better now. Stop this car and see what this person's doing. So it's not safe to be out here. I know we are not in a pursuit right now. Are you kidding me? This guy's running from us, guys. Wow, alright, we're gonna need backup here. What the heck is this guy doing during a hurricane that he needs to run from us? Okay, so this was not supposed to happen. I was not planning to get into any pursuits today, but yeah, we're in a pursuit. So I'm guessing in real life, obviously it would depend on the pursuit policy, but I think they would probably just, I don't even think they would pursue in these conditions. Oh, no, 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 guys, guys, he's going to get stuck, he's going to get stuck. That's some deep water. Oh, this water is deep. Oh, he's stuck, he's on foot, he's on foot. I'm gonna chance it with the Tahoe. I'm gonna go on the sidewalk. Yo, this is crazy right now. Wasn't I just telling you guys not to drive through water and now look at me? He's like trying to get into the ocean. Where's this guy going? I can't go any further. It's gonna get deeper. Lightly tap him. And of course, I don't have my taser. Oh man. How's he running so fast? Hey, I'm gonna have to keep chasing him. We're already committed to this. I can't really stop at this point. So, this just made the episode a little bit unrealistic, but that is what it is. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. If you guys enjoy the episode, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. I don't know how this guy's running so fast. Oh my god, the charger. No, he's about to jump into the water. This guy's crazy. I'm gonna need a boat. Okay, he's on a boardwalk. Oh my goodness, all right, can I catch up to him here? There's a freaking hurricane going on and we're chasing this guy out. He's gonna drown. Where did he go? I think he went on the water. I don't even know what to do right now. I can't grab him. Great, he freaking drowned. Idiot, man. Now I gotta try to save this guy. I don't even think I could grab him because I don't have coastal callouts running right now.
crazy. Now I gotta try to save him. CPR right yeah, we're right next to this big metal pole. Hopefully it don't get hit by the lightning. Episode, this episode just took a turn for the left, though. This is crazy. Let's stop to ID this guy, too. Alright, he seems to be okay. I'm still not taking any chances, though. Sir, sir, relax it, sir. Oh my goodness. See, I would have fought that, but I almost dropped a cup of water in real life right there. Get down on the ground, sir. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. I'm not going to tell you again. Like, look how high the water is right now, and we're out here. Like, this is crazy. A storm surge could just come and take us right now. All right, he has used needles, several driving license. His name is Peter Wynn. Peter Wynn. his name wrong, but let's just get out of here. I could check everything else on the when we're in the car. So he, I'm guessing he ran because he has, he had the used needles on him, which is possibly me. He just did drugs. He was driving on the influence of drugs. Maybe he has more drugs in the vehicle. So we're going to have to find that out. Hopefully our car is still there. Alright guys, we made it back to our vehicle. We'll go ahead and place them inside. Let's just run his information really quickly. Valid, he's not wanted. Why the heck did he do all of that? Just for some used needles? Alright, um, let's see if I can find his car. His car probably despawned, but let's go look for it. Luckily this water isn't too deep, but it is pretty deep. I don't see his car anymore. I think it was over here, right? Oh, here is his car right here. We found it. Anything that was in it probably washed away, but let me try to search it. I 
Yeah, this vehicle's gonna have to stay here. To, I can't get a tow truck out right now. Briefcase full of hundred dollar bills, okay. So we're just gonna have to leave that here. License plate four five William David Mary three four zero no ten ninety nine. All right, no ten ninety nines on that. So let's get this guy back to jail, or maybe we'll get a unit to come transport him. Ooh, there's some of the other backup units that we called in. I got him, guys. We got him. Actually, this Tahoe was the one that was already here. Remember. All right, so, um, you know what? I'm going to get another unit to come pick them up. And then we'll continue with our patrol. That way we could kind of... I want to do a little bit more talking up. What the... <laughs> okay, look at the type of unit they send me. I mean, I don't even blame dispatch right now. With all this water over here, you might as well send a boat unit. <laughs> this is funny. Where's the officer at? Okay. That is hilarious. Okay. A more unrealistic this, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna get back out on patrol making sure nobody else is out here doing things that they're not supposed to be doing but that was crazy though guys that was hopefully you guys enjoyed that like for real that was crazy but a little bit more information about um hurricane dorian this is what i meant to tell you guys before all of that craziness happened um as of 3 p.m uh today uh, Hurricane Dorian has winds of about 110, sustained winds of 110 miles per hour. And um, let me see, their location as of right now, they're about 60 miles e east of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So they already passed Georgia coastline. They're basically past South Carolina and they're moving towards North Carolina coastline now. So we're hoping that this thing will stay out. Now the traffic stop. All these people out here, they should not be out here. But yeah, we're hoping that it just goes out to sea and it just doesn't cause any more damage or loss of life because these hurricanes, like I said, they're they're crazy. Um, but yeah, it's currently 60 miles east of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, 110 miles from Wilmington, North Carolina right now. And that's pretty much like one of the coastlines of North Carolina. And that's also where the tornado was earlier today. There was a tornado around 9 a.m. over there. And they have tons of tornado warnings on top of the hurricane warning. And I really feel bad for a lot of people because um, they were trying to, you know, like weather the storms, weather the hurricane, and then out of nowhere a tornado popped up. And then some people lost their homes from the tornado and now they can't they can't stay in their home and ride out the hurricane now because the tornado just destroyed their house so I don't, it's really crazy i really like i always say let's keep the people affected by these storms in our thoughts and prayers because a lot of people are going through it right now so currently uh, hurricane dorian is moving north northeast at eight miles per hour and the hurricane force winds, they extend out about 60 miles from the uh, center of the storm. And then tropical storm force winds, which is much lower, but still dangerous, those extend up, up to 195 miles from the storm. So this thing still has some power, it's still kicking. We gotta make sure we uh, keep our guard up, basically. So everything looks okay for the most part. It doesn't look like anybody else is out here. Wait, what's going on over here? Right as I say that, see a lot of people try to come to the beach to look at the water and stuff like that. Like you do not want to go to the beach right now. Let me stop this vehicle and tell them they got to get out of here. It's not worth going out and dying over this. we got into another pursuit. Target 
vehicle license plate. Six, five, Tom, Henry, boy, four, five, nine, a traffic violation. Proceed with caution. Hello guys, how you doing tonight? My name is Trooper Ace with the North Carolina Highway Patrol. What are you guys doing out here? You know why I pulled you over, right? We have we have a curfew in place. There should be no cars on the road unless there's an emergency. Do you guys have any type of emergency or anything? Just go both reckless and station and be on the road. Okay, where are you guys coming from? The gas station? Well, the, yeah, the gas stations are all closed. Do you guys have enough gas? Alright, where are you headed to now? Need to get your phone fixed. It's broken. Are you kidding me? There's a hurricane about to hit this area, ma'am. You need to go home. You need to get out of here. The highways, the bridges are all closed. You need to get home. You need to get to a shelter and hunker down. There's no time to worry about a broken phone right now. You need to get out of here. Do you understand me? Oh my God, do you have your license on you? Yep. Yep. Nice. Her name is Amy Taylor. I'm just gonna run her information really quickly. for this but I'm just trying to hurry up all right she's all good all right miss Taylor I'm gonna tell you this one time okay I'm giving you a rating warning all right you need to get home you need to get out of here if I pull you over again later today or another officer pull you over you will be arrested for violating the curfew do you understand me you're putting yourself and you're putting everybody else in risk by driving around and during this hurricane okay Go straight home, all right? Straight home. All right, so she better go home. I don't. I really don't want to like arrest anybody over this storm, you know. spawn a new vehicle. I noticed this happened to me earlier, like, oh no, it's working now. Okay, yeah, we're good. Oh shit, guys, a tree just fell down over there. You guys see that? All right, guys, so it looks like the hurricane is getting close. So we need to get the heck out of here, head back to the station. Oh, it's getting bad over there. There's a sh traffic light down, too. I'm just going to ignore that guy right there. All right, let's head back to the station. Doesn't look like we could go this way, though, so let's spin around. No matter what I do, like it's gonna keep spawning like new vehicles occasionally, so that's why I'm just not gonna pay attention because then we'll just be out here pulling people over forever.
I guess the good thing we did see some damage, but it, it's not too much of damage yet. So hopefully the storm just like blows right past us, you know. Alright guys, let's make a run for it. Let's get inside. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at the wave. I missed the wave. Look at the um, flag flying all crazy in the wind. Woo! Alright, we made it back to safety. Let me go ahead and close. Okay, close this. So, Alright guys, so I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys made it all the way to the end, you're still watching right now, definitely let me know. But leaving a comment down below, just say something like you made it all the way to the end or you enjoyed the video or whatever you like to say. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead and hit the like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe, follow, hit the notification bells. That way you'll be notified whenever I post or do a live stream, post a new video or do a live stream. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.